already. Hello, so this is the, uh, is it the fourth installment of the fourth video, I believe? Fourth or fifth video of, uh, the Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. And, well, I mean, we're pretty much completed. We already got the shield and the, uh, and the, uh, potion. So at this point, we should start heading towards the surface, which should be over here in the green light. Hey, look up there. It's Beetle's Air Shop. It's here. He sells bug nets there. I want one so bad. It's bugging it up from the shop, and if you ring it, you know, so... Basically, you need one of the slingshots, which I do not have it yet. You're supposed to get one and, you know, hit at the bell over there, but, you know, his, his crap is pretty expensive for the three rupees that I have. So, yeah, this is pretty much it. We're now going to head towards the sur uh, surface. I don't know, I just like walking through. Oh, I didn't even know why I get off here. Usually, yeah, that always happens. Like, I'll go down there. Like down here, and like thinking like the bridge is down there, but it's not. So this is the residential area of the of Skyloft, and you could tell. I mean, the music changes and everything. I actually like this part of town because well, there's people living in it. I mean, I've always wondered since you know, is, is overpopulation like ever a thing here? Because like, you know, over the generations. You know, Cities expand and everything. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's like this window here, I forgot what that does, but there's a bench. Oh shoot, okay. This is it, we go to the surface. So we basically fly towards the bottom, which I will do here. There's a, there's a side quest and everything, but, you know, when I'm doing Let's Plays, I mean, the formula for now is basically do the easy quest and the main story. I might come back and do that one thing in the next one we're going to get here. to get to the surface. Master Lee, we have arrived. This is the famed surface that has been long been part of Sky Lost Legend. Our calculations here currently positioned on location as a sealed grounds. Dude, I can't imagine how it would be, you know, to actually, you know, never been to the surface and like actually stand in it. And there's the map. Yeah, like every area of the world you go into, it'll like unblock. Alrighty. Okay, yeah, we're in pretty much in the beginning part of the world. Please proceed with caution, Master. Alrighty, so. With caution. With the sword. Which one was it? I think I actually have to disconnect the Joy Cons and actually. Yeah, I have to disconnect the Joy Cons. Um, yeah, I disconnect it because. Yeah, I mean, here it doesn't look like anything, but. They will. There will be a. There will be a monster with this. Right. 
I just, I just go through it. I mean, over it because you're just going to waste time. Now here's where, yeah, you can't. Whoa! Did you notice that? I'm just going to leave. Alrighty. Yeah, that just freaking went half of my freaking shield. Holy crap. I mean, it's not that like I'm going to use the shield that much, but it's like, damn. a good cutscene so I mean see, like this is blocked <laughs> All right, so you see like yeah they reach basically down there no 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 oh okay yeah, I forgot how to pretty much okay you just want to reach down here yeah I mean when I first started yeah I went all the way down there but just do this instead Young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess Skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Ready, so you do this. Sit it. Oh. oh, okay, like that. Okay, I was like trying to deal with it. Sensing a change in the area that is triggered by your skyward strike. You have also detected an aura that points closely to your cell clock. I, summer, I surmise this aura because, uh, belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura during a process known as Dowsing. Would you like to explain me? I guess so. As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search up with the tip of the sword. If you are to an object, the meaning of the aura in the question, the stronger the response will be. The purpose manifests itself to a vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you you see. Yeah, for now we're just looking at those. Look, yeah. Hold the top. And select Zelda as your dowsing target. And then point in the direction you wish to search. Alrighty, so. Let's try to find her. Huh. Should be up there. Anyways. There, we're not like 100% there, but this one, yeah. There we go. And 
It should be there anyways. Can't be anywhere else. You can't go over there. I don't even know what I'm looking over there. I don't know. It's like sometimes I like to see like the... Oh crap. Wrong button. Sometimes I like to see like the... You know. Oh, okay. So I change it. Okay, so... Sometimes I like to see the surroundings. See like, okay. Suppose she's in the temple. Alrighty, so we go in. Yeah, we go in. Yeah, this is a pretty big area too. So this is a sealed temple. Temple. My English sucks right now. Um, go through the doors. It's locked. Oh! Alrighty, I guess so. Uh, we open this chest here. Got some, uh, uh, whatever. Potion. This potion fully replenishes your shield gauge. Dude, I'm totally going to to uh, use it. And yeah, I like smashing pots. The traditional Zelda player. Breaks pots, you know, just for some duties. Also, um, ooh, a fairy. Unfortunately, though, I'm a fairy. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a, I don't have a uh, bottle to open it. Great old one, yeah. It's waiting for a link to appear. First, like you gotta, you gotta like raid here. You have to. Raid. I don't have a bell cap. I'll probably get it like after I'm done with this little. And of course, I'm gonna record it because well. Yeah, because to catch these things, you need a, a bug. Yeah, okay, so. And yeah, you're just sitting down. There's nothing. Yeah, we can't, we can't dig through there yet. Yeah. Later, yeah. Yeah, so this is meant... Skyward Sword, I mean, pretty much every Zelda game. But Skyward Sword... It's designed, you know, to, to uh, revisit these areas. Ah, the Traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? Link. Ah, Link. Good. Very good. I sense you already gained control over the sacred power that lifts the sword when pointed skyward. <laughs> it's proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive. Also that I could fill my purpose as your guide. Stand under the roof of the seal of the temple, a place built by the goddess an etern eternity ago. Your arrival here was presidented many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, sent to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubt, there's no doubting it, the gears of fate have already begun to turn. <laughs> Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden is not meant to reach his land in the matter she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Mm -hmm. Link, you're concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yeah? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose and she must pursue, as so do you. She set out to the Farron Woods to discover the destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X on your map marks this path that will lead you to the Farron Woods. You'll be traveling in an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled there, and the map may not prove guidance enough for your journey.
So I will guide you to the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at the location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at X and press A to place a beacon. I mean... Oh. Okay, so basically you just... Yeah, I wasn't paying attention, I was just... Yeah, I never really used beacons, but I guess. Go now. You must head to the Fernwoods and chase after the spirit maiden. The one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. They find the prove useful on your journey. Is the one that we just opened, or is there another one? Oh, okay, it's the one that I tried to open. You're ready. Leave through the door before you. Ah, okay, that's the door. So yeah, basically, yeah, I know Link is very confused. So what, I mean, I would be, I'd be lost in this situation. Because he'd never been on this land. You gotta be careful here because there is uh, monsters and everything. There's the beacon. I never really used it. <laughs> like for the, the Wii version, I never used it. All right. <laughs> monsters here. I just want to play some, uh, Even though you'll get some over there, I mean, I like doing it. Alrighty. Yeah, this is Goron. Goron here is Come on, he's trying to get me. Where's the other Let me get the rupees. Woo! Thanks for jumping in to rescue me, bud. Just who are these red pests? I did not expect them to pack in them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. How are you big for taking care of those guys? Uh, let me tell you something uh, fascinating. Hey bud, I'm Gorko of the Goron. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient text, there's some kind of place up and above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently these old statues serve as landmarks for those traveling up to the sky or down into the Isle of Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They're rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly the statue is special. As I said, they have the ability of activate all the other statues. Mm. The whole thing sounds a little crazy. I know. For what I believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? There's a real head scratcher, bud. It makes you want to uh, want to make you learn more. Does it not? I mean, I guess. Oh. Ah, sounds like I got a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. Alright, bud. You had better pl uh, praise yourself. Because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this, people actually live on the Sky Island, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than the birds down here. Up there, everybody rever reveres the goddess, and the residents of all the islands. The Sky lives in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but for what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. It doesn't even stop there, bud. This Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures out, figures that it's filled with wonders that we don't even have here. The buildings are all made of gold, and in the spring, a mystical water beats a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all diseases. The fields are all crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. The weather, oh the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold, no chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. This is the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong. It's beyond amazing. Mm -hmm. Wanna hear more about it, don't you, bud? I guess. Ooh. Get it here. I'm completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. 
I wish I had more time, uh, more to tell you now. But I will need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I'll give you the latest info. Oh! Whoa! Mm. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? I said you react to the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Hey! Alrighty, so... Save. Oh, no, not yet. Mm. Not yet. Oh. What, what was that? Oh. Said so just reacted to you. How did you... Come on, do not make a big guy big. I gotta know. Well... Hey. Alrighty. So we go over here. That's where we were at. This is where we rescued this guy. Huh, what's up here? There must be something. Oh, I know what this is. This takes you back in the front. Yeah, see? And over here is... Okay. Master, now that you have access to the stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by creating a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky anywhere. Yeah. Pretty much for the amiibo. Alright, I'll end the video here. Because I'm doing this again in sections. So... Pretty much, yeah, I'll end it here. And the next video will be all about Fern Woods. Or there'll probably be like a little video of like the side quests up there like a good portion of it or i might even combine it but yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and consider a like and uh subscribe and uh i'll see you guys in the next video Alrighty, peace out